Meister, and welcome back to the Revenge of the Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke! Last time I made it to Violet City, realized that my party is gonna struggle, as you guys can see. Cloud the Chikorita, Aerith the Rattata, Barrett the Spearow, Vincent the Pidgey, and Red 13 the Zubat. Everybody but Barrett hit level 9. Uh, the reason why Barrett did not hit level 9 is because Barrett's gonna be my lead going into Sprout Tower. Because, like, 99% of the Pokemon inside of Sprout Tower, or at least the trainers, are Bell Sprout. Go figure. <coughs> and it's been, I mean, it's been a few hours. Not gonna lie, it's only like 6 30. <laughs> it's only like 6 30, so. I couldn't remember what time it got dark. In Pokemon. Oh, ghosts are murmured to appear in Sprout Tower. They say normal type Pokemon moves had no effect on ghosts. Which is also kind of why I, I waited to do Sprout Tower, because the only other Pokemon I can find in Sprout Tower that's not a dupe, Brigada, is a Ghastly, and even though Ghastly is already useless right now, having a Ghastly will be kind of nice. So let's descend inside Sprout Tower. A bell sprout over 100 feet tall. People say that it became the center pillar here. See the pillar shaking? The people are training upstairs. <laughs> Sprout Tower was built long ago as a place for Pokemon training. Only if you reach the top will you obtain an HM, that is HM05 Flash. And that is what we will be targeting. First things first. Let's beat up some trainers. However hard we battle, the, will, the tower will stand strong. <laughs> what are many towers here? Sage and Nico would like to compete against us. Ooh, sounds not a bounce route. <laughs> We're also all level 3 bounce sprouts, so I'm not too terribly concerned. <laughs> Excuse me. And the spear all over levels, spear all over levels. No big deal. <laughs> I'd rather have spear all over level, at least right now. And we try and find something. <laughs> No, I'd much rather be able to find, um... You know, something to be able to catch. Fought hard, but I'm too weak! <clears throat> Got a little bit, of, little bit of money out of the deal. And yeah, we'll start out with a Paralyze Heal. Or Paralyze Heal. We stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude or honor all Pokemon. <coughs> and again, I'm not gonna be too upset. <coughs> SH Chow sends out the first of his three bell sprout. You know, Sprout takes the lead. Uh, the only one that really I'm worried about is um, Aerith. Because Aerith is the only one that is neutral to uh, Bellsprout's Vine Whip. Compared to being completely. See, look at Spiro go. And another Bellsprout. <laughs> look at that, what a hit. Six for winning. Kaz, yeah, we're all level nine. Aerith is the closest between Spearow and Aerith are the two closest in lowest HP. That's what I normally will do for Pokemon. 
is I pick them by their lowest defense, or by the lowest HP to train them up to the next level. It's way like Blades in the Wind as Aerith will probably be the next one to come out after... Do we have admin? Because these are all level 3 too, so... Not too terribly a, a big of a challenge. <coughs> what I also haven't come across is a uh, wild encounter yet, which is weird. You would have figured that I would come across a wild encounter by now. But nope, sure haven't. Excuse me. I'm a little filming, I apologize. <clears throat> That's right, I can't get it past the giant bell sprout head. Got a potion. Alright. First up, I train to find enlightenment in Pokemon. Is it working? <coughs> Sage Jin. Now these guys have a little bit stronger bell sprouts. I think they're all level seven, six. But still, should be. Yeah, I say. Oh, yep. Yeah, they don't. They don't grow. So. But still, should be no match for my fearsome Spiro. Yeah, look at that Spiro hit level ten. The only thing is getting outspeeded. Out, outsped. Outspeed. Outspeeded. <coughs> but if we look at our party here. Experience 22. Currently, I think it's Cloud who's the slowest. Actually, no, it's Pidgey. <laughs> Vincent is the slowest so far. Alright, who's next up? Alright, the Elder's HM lights even pitch black darkness. The Sage Neil also brings out a level 6 bell sprout. Which I am a okay with. Especially as they pump up growth, we're gonna try and hit them as fast as we can, as hard as we can. One growth, yep, one growth vine whip is enough to do eight damage. <clears throat> That's almost enough for a berry. Just to have a berry. It is my head that is bright. <laughs> and it's either you or the sage or the sage elder that has the hoot hoot. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon, because I know there's one of them that has a hoot hoot. <clears throat> I just can't remember if it's him or if it's the elder. Well, Troy's got two. He starts out with Bell Sprout. Level seven Bell Sprout. A little hard of a challenge for Aerith. <coughs> and that was six damage with Avro. Oh, so close to Aerith. Uh, yeah, here's Hoot Hoot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plan. Stay in with Hoot, uh, stay in with Aerith to start with. Then I'll give Aerith the chance to get to level 10. <coughs> While giving us... Nice, critical hit. Well, giving us the opportunity to take down the hoot hoot. There we go, Earth at level 10. Trust is real. We also got 224. <coughs> oh. You're in D 
need skilled as a trainer. As promised, here's your HM. But let me say this, you should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. Huh. He claims to be the elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason. I never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about we Pokemon. And Gold pieces out with an escape rope. <laughs> we'll do the same without with taking on the Elder here. Uh, we'll lead with Vincent. I'll make sure to drop a uh, uh, potions. Drop a potion on Vincent. <coughs> Excuse me. Because um, Vincent has Gust. That's going to help. <coughs> so good of you to come here. Sprout Tower's place of training. People in Pokemon test their bonds to build a bridge future. Yeah, to build a bright future together. I have the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. I haven't even come across a counter yet, an encounter yet. All right, Sage Lee starts out with the Bell Sprout. Level seven Bell Sprout. Starting with growth, getting that special attack up. <coughs> Excuse me. Level 10 for Vincent. Most excellent. Alright, next up is Hoot Hoot. <coughs> I'm gonna make the weird choice of ch uh, putting in Red 13. Red 13 is faster. Oops, I'm gonna press the button. <clears throat> I was kind of hoping to hit with uh, confusion there. <clears throat> Lake Life isn't gonna do anything. <clears throat> but was hoping for that. Was hoping for. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just stepped, stepped outside the coal. Grab my trash can. <laughs> because if all this fails, I can always switch out <coughs> to, uh... Ooh, yeah, we're gonna switch out to a Cloud. Just because leech uh, tackles can be better than leech life. There we go. <laughs> Are you gonna growl at me? How rude! My turn. Hi, missed. Who's gonna get crit first? <clears throat> Cause at that point, at this point, this is where we're at. Who's gonna who's gonna get the crit first? And oh, <clears throat> going for foresight, which is a, a usual tactic here. Oh, another growl. We have to tackle. More should do it. Ooh, there's a crit. But it's not critty enough. Critty? That works. But that's level 10 for Cloud. Good deal. And another Bow Sprout. Yeah, we'll go and start out with uh, Red 13. I'll go Spiro. Why not? Spiro takes a few points of damage because of Vine Whip. That's quite okay. 
Nope, powered up with growth. Almost. Almost. <coughs> yeah, four points of damage. <laughs> Off of that, after almost one. I'm not gonna argue. Sagely was defeated. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. So now we have Flash. <coughs> Considering the only places that I think I know we need it for sure are to get through the Dark Cave. Uh, Flash is used to illuminate the even, even the most darkest places. To use it outside of battle, you need to badge it from Violet City. I'm gonna see if I can't find my en an encounter in here. We'll walk. Oh, there it is. There is our encounter, and it's gonna be a ghastly. Level six female. Okay. Not too shabby, actually. Oh, I thought we killed it. And poor Vincent, take a nap. That's okay. I got a Pokeball. <coughs> As you quite literally have. Oh, nope. Alright, um. Red, you're up! <laughs> really? The only thing I know that's not gonna kill it. Hypnosis, but it's in the red, so in theory. <laughs> we should be okay. There we go, we got Ghastly. <laughs> uh, its thin body is made of gas. It can envelop an, an opponent of any size and cause suffocation. How would you like to find a gas ball four, uh, that is four feet three inches tall? <coughs> We're gonna name this giant puff of gas Yuffie. Yes, I know I'm using a lot of Final Fantasy seven characters. When I run out of seven characters, then I'll do eight. But you know what? I caught my ghost. We're gonna notice you haven't notice you haven't seen Ghastly yet. Ghastly's actually gonna go in the box as soon as I get out of here. Um, actually. Gnosis and Lick. Um, doesn't learn many more attacking moves after that. So yeah, we're gonna go put Gasly in the box for right now. So you're gonna see Yuffie to show up in PC storage. Alright, so there's that. As you can see, there is Yuffie. <coughs> Excuse me, good grief. Alright. <laughs> really flummy, I apologize. <laughs> we'll still grow our team of five, but it's nice to have Gasly in as a backup. <clears throat> Pokemon full of heal. Hope to see you again. One other thing I need to do here, and that is a uh, falconer for the Violet Pokemon uh, Gym and fine trainer. He inherited his father's gym and has done a great job with it. <coughs> Pokemon Mart, I saw a wiggly tree up ahead. If you touch it, it squirms and dances. Cool. <coughs> so he just takes us to the Pokemon school here. <coughs> Hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me, if you believe a championship dream can come true, you believe, then listen. 
The grass type is weak against the flying type, keep this in mind. <laughs> yeah, sadly, poor Chikorita is considered hard mode for the first couple of gyms. <laughs> Let me see if you're good enough to face Falconer. In fact, for the most part, Chikorita is not going to fare well at all. Alright, we got Bird Keeper Abe, who sends out a Spiro. Level 9. Ooh, that's a hard hitter. Vincent's also. <laughs> Excuse me, probably made my soul. Good gravy, why am I coughing so much? All of a sudden. I figured that would have hit. That is a critical hit! Came slow close though to level up Vincent again. We're gonna go heal Vincent up real quick. If I have to, we'll, we'll talk through this one, but if I have to go, come back again, I'll just, I'll, I'll cut away at the, uh, <laughs> from leaving the gym, just to come out and heal. Okay. Uh, who do I want to correct? Let's see if we can't bait and switch with Red 13 for a turn. The keyword is guts! Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on! If you say so. Madu. Bird Keeper Rod wants the battle. Starts out with Pidgey. <laughs> Misses on Supersonic. We'll give it a couple of tries here. Yep, there's Super Sonic. Hit yourself. Come on, hit yourself. Thank you. Uh, who's I gonna switch into? Uh, I was gonna switch into. Let's go, Aerith. Why not? Hit yourself again. Come on. Thank you. I'll make this easier. Almost. Sadly, third time was not, in fact, the charm. Uh, and another Pidgey. No, we'll keep Aerith in. If we need to pop Aerith out, we'll pop Aerith out. Not a big deal. There we go. Good job, Aerith. And actually, for your troubles, <laughs> have a potion. Kind of a wish you a potion, sure. But you know what? It works out in my favor. All right. Let's go, Falconer. <clears throat> I'm Falconer, the, Vi the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such inserts to bolt insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Bring it! <laughs> Falconer. Sends out 11 se level 7 Pidgey. <laughs> And dazzle it with supersonic. Max life. Alright, we'll switch out to Aerith. So Aerith can get some damage in. Can you fuse again? It'd be great. Yes. 
nice having that quick attack's gonna help. Not quite. But third time is a charm. Faulkner's about to send in Pidgeotto. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you can do, Aerith. Can we get another... Oh, nope. Great channel always faster than Red 13, though. That's interesting. Um... Let's go, Spiro. I have a plan. Stay confused. Nope. Okay, we're gonna leer. I can take, like, one more gust. <laughs> Alright, come on, Vincent. Kick some sand up. Do another accuracy. Yes, we'll do another accuracy. Oh, try to do another accuracy drop. <laughs> One more for good measure. A three stage accuracy drop. Oh, of course it hits. You know, it's not supposed to be that way, Vincent. <laughs> You're the one who kicked the sand up. You're not the one who's supposed to be blinded by the sand. <laughs> hey, we got it. Red 13 hits level 10. Excellent. Vincent hits level 11! <laughs> Doctor's down! <clears throat> Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon! Alright, take this! It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr Badge! So we got 900 for winning. Zephyr Badge raises the attack power of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it anytime. Here, take this too. <clears throat> Receives TM31. Puts it in the TM pocket. By using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can be used only once. TM contain TM31 contains Mud Slap. It reduces the enemy's accuracy while it, while it causes damage. In other words, it is both defensive and offensive. Excellent, one more piece of business. <laughs> Hello, Silver. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant's at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? Alright, we shall go talk to him. And remember, this is one of the static encounters clauses. Uh, the Pokemon egg in Violet City. <coughs> Silver, long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? <coughs> so we're gonna take the Pokemon egg. We discover that a Pokemon will not hatch unless it grows in the egg. Or until. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Silver, you're the only person we can rely on. Please call Professor Elm with when that egg hatches. Alright, we'll go ahead and do a quick heal. We'll do a quick save, and we are out for the evening. 
Thank you for waiting! We shall drop a save. <coughs> Don't turn off the power. <coughs> Alright, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Comment, see me in the next one as we head down Route 32. The destination is going to change. Until then, I am the Bowmeister, and I have been obediently yours.